Welcome back everybody to another iRacing episode here on the Unrivaled Projectile channel. Yeah, two more races to do here on today's episode. Uh, one at Charlotte, North Speedway, the little pit road oval, and then Langley Speedway as well. Both are going to be 40 laps, so let me jump on into practice and qualifying, and we'll see what we can do in the race. So, qualifying in first, I have no idea how we compare it to the others um, within this whole thing, but we'll see here. Um, I also have no idea how being in this race is going to go um, because there's a weird pit road entry around this track, so we'll see about that. And I guess I'm just going to have to kind of hold pace for a little bit once it goes on. I'm not exactly sure how this is going to work, so. One to go, next time by. Alrighty. We'll see how all this goes. We're going to have 40 laps around here. And. He's staying in second gear all the way around, so... Yep, there he goes. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. And now we... Hopefully just sit and ride. And try not to make mistakes for 40 laps. Because I have raced this track in my free time before, and it has not gone well, so. I think I've got a better grip on the game now. I can handle it, but. Um, we'll see. It's hard because it's so flat. You gotta be really careful with throttle and stuff like that, so. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. We are pulling a gap to the cars behind, though, which is good. My worry is the lap traffic. Because I don't. I can see that causing me to mess up. And then we're all in trouble, so. But, I do need to stay consistent here. In order to. Um. Give, my good, give myself a good shot at the championship because. Of. Our. Last race did not go well. Just set the fastest lap. 17.964 Okay. So I'm still pulling away. At least from what I can tell. Oh yeah, we're still pulling away. Not that worried about it. Scrape the wall. Again, we... There's... There's just not much on throttle time. You barely get. I don't even get up to third gear because you're breaking into the corner. So it's just kind of weird. Seeing some lap traffic, but that's a ways off still. Because you can see basically half of track at once. The car in C2 just set the fastest lap. Wow. Point four, four, eight. So they're on fast laps. Kind of interesting that they're not 
catching up more than. Uh, they only caught up a decent amount. So maybe you need to start driving a little bit more aggressively. Because I'm not really driving that aggressively right now. It's kind of taking it nice and easy. I mean, I can drive more aggressively. But there's no reason for me to right now. So we've got decent sized lead. We're still going down the cars in front of us. Yeah, the key thing is going to be consistency here. So that's what we're providing right now. Just hanging right around that 18 second mark out. Yes, my best time is six cents off that of the actual fast slap, but that's fine. As long as we're that was your fastest lap of the session. See? And we're slowly getting better as well, so Push. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Not really going to push this, so. Clear outside. Let's take it nice and easy. Outside. Yeah, they've got a shift in the middle. Still there, hold your line. I'm not. Are they shifting down the first? Clear they must outside. be. They're shifting down the first in these corners. Yeah, that's not something I'm going to be brave enough to do. Which means they get a better drive out of the corner. But I think it really hurts their um, straightaway speed. So. Still got a good lead on... Second place. I'm sure, they're running the lap traffic right about now. So, um, so I keep going here. I looked at doing an online race today, but I didn't feel like waiting another hour to record. So, that's the hard thing about online races. You gotta find the time to do them you gotta line up your times so I think I could always host one but then that gets kind of weird as well trying to get the timing down right so so I think you have to yeah more than anything it's a scheduling thing keep low Like I said, just take it nice and easy. That's what we're doing right now. Um, to get past these guys, not trying to be too ambitious. Nice and easy. And I think I'm probably also taking care of my tires more than these guys. I take it nice and easy, so I may end up doing really well at the end of the run as my tires are in a little bit of shape. So, we'll see. Again, these are very easy AI try race rounds, so. The thing that will get scary is if um, the cars that are high up in the standings. Um, wow, they had a really good run. 
get back past me. Um, if the cars that are at the top of the standings end up doing well in, in these two races, it can really screw over my chances for a championship because of the fact that we had that bad race last last I racing episode, so the car in C nine just set the fastest lap. Seventeen point three one. Car outside. Outside clear. Alrighty. As well. No idea where P nine is, but Coming up on uh, just 10 laps to go, almost three quarters of the way done already. Again, just nice and consistent, that's what I'm looking for. I didn't come in here saying I was going to lap everyone, um, like in some of the other races, because um, I knew what this track was going to bring in terms of difficulty not to spin out and then also because I know we need to stay as consistent as possible to have a champion chance at the championship still so so low Yeah, that shifting that they're doing is super weird. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that or not, but it is kind of wonky. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. There we go. Just a few more laps to go. Yeah, we'll really need to take a look at the standings here after this race. See where everyone needs to shake out. I'm, I get the feeling that um, the championship is not going to be um, really determined by how I race, but more so how all the other cars around this race so um sucks to be in that position but that's the reality of it because we're putting up we should put up a win here and then it's just a matter of where everyone else shakes out to be I mean I'm running really well. Starting to get a bit more aggressive. Two laps to go. Two to go. Two laps to go. Car outside. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Still there. Car outside. Two wide. So low. White flag. Nice and smooth. Still there, there we go. Keep low. Whoa! That's that's why I was trying to keep it consistent all race. The car behind is closing on you. The gap is four point two seconds. Luckily, I had a big enough lead. The car stopped up high. And we're fine. But yeah, that you that could have been bad. Oh yeah, there's three everywhere. Yeah, I'm going again. That's good. I'm kind of trying to drift it, but it won't work. Is everyone else?
else hunting in. This pit road is weird too. I think I mentioned that already. Peering. Three, two, one. There we go. End of the race. Let's see here. Let me grab a few clips and then we'll take a look at the standings. Alrighty, so um, normal stuff. We win top five. Um, Fifteen points. We're now in third with thirty-one points. Um, let's view the results first. So we we're still four and a half seconds ahead. Um, I was lucky that I was pointing the correct direction after that little wreck. Otherwise that could have really hurt me. Um, everyone in front of us, or behind us, back to about ninth place, all had faster laps. So, we had lapped up to eighth place, so... Very good there. We probably would have had a little bit more if it hadn't been for that little wreck. But let's view the season standings here now. We are six points behind first place. So it does come down to whether or not um, the number, is this the number six car? I believe it is. Depends on if they. Um, they have a bad race or not here so um, we'll just have to jump into it it's awful yeah it's going to come down to whether or not that six car has a good race again or not so let me jump into practice and qualifying and we'll head off to the race alrighty so we got the qualifying position that we wanted but not for the six car they need to finish in sixth or worse position and they currently right alongside us so we'll have to see there may be a bit of foul play here early on to try to get this car off off their game I get a penalty for doing this At least not right now, I don't. One to go, next time by. Huh. Not sure. We're going to have 40 laps here, though. Figure it out and keep the lead, so. We'll see if we can perform the number one ready, rule of racing. Ready. If we're going to wreck someone, don't wreck yourself. I don't think we're going to be able to complete that, though. She gets by here early. I think I kind of just got to drag him back a little bit, maybe. Let's actually go backwards some here a little bit. We just got messed with the six car and drive our way back up through the field. But don't absolutely obliterate ourselves. That's going to be the key here. Yeah, there's carbon fiber flying everywhere. Or aluminum, whichever it is. 
Okay, now we get to try to drive our way up to the field. We're in 10th position. Outside. I have no idea where the 6th car is. I should be able to drive my way back up. I have no idea though. I think we pinned the 6th car back far enough, but... I guess I don't know. I didn't see him at the scene of the crash still, so... Oh, we're actually back in 12. Okay, we'll see if this works. If nothing else, it'll be entertaining. 18-1. I think if I can get some of these cars cleared... Four point one seconds to car in front now. Okay. It's gonna be a lot of time to make up, but I think we can do it. I stay diligent. Well that no good. I'm using the apron to help me turn. I don't have enough speed. Oh, this is not good. The car in front of me is pulling away because I got the wheel damage. Try right around here in second gear, see if that helps at all. New shifting patterns helping. I didn't want to do all the shifting, but if it's going to help me be faster, then we're using it. Positions to make up though. Nope, got it on the bottom with it though. Otherwise, it's slow. going to be, I think, very close whether I can pull this out. This is going to be an entire race battle if I'm going to make it. I barely get up to third gear and then I have to shift back down to second. And I get the turn I wanted there. Mm -hmm. 
wheel damage is definitely definitely hurting me. I should not have to be fighting this hard back here for these positions. Oh, and I've basically shot the tires because of driving so hard, I think. Now the lap times are shot. I get as many points as I can off everyone else. 17.994. Jeez. That's insanely fast. No. Thank you. I don't think I've won the championship. I gave myself that wheel damage and it's going to hurt me. Especially since I'm running 19 ones, while everyone else is improving their time. Inside. That's a bad corner. Clear inside. The car in C4. Just set the fastest lap. 17.983. chance that someone else puts up a ton of points here and is able to really just kind of run away with it. Maybe that second place car would be a possibility. Or the sixth car has gotten back up through the field. I'm not sure. I think we basically ended their race, but I guess I don't know. There's a four car. Four car, I think, is the leader. Nope. Those are. We're just that slow right now. These cars that we were able to fly by. Well, not fly. Not necessarily fly by, but get past someone easily at the beginning after that big wreck and I'll come back to me so I can guarantee you one thing Wrong way. You've got wheel damage. You're going the wrong way. 
we'll see how much damage we got to repair here. Pit box in five, five, five to go. Three, one, right here. Oh, apparently I don't have... Two left to go. Two to go. Two to go. Actually, we'll probably finish on pit lane. Okay, punch it. Sorry if I haven't talked in a while, but let's see. There's the guy who ruined our race. You know, we tried to ruin his. He ended up ruining ours. Oh, yippee. I guess we'll see how this goes. But let me grab a few clips and then we'll move back to the main menu. So qualified on pole. I actually finished 13th. Okay, I'm not sure how that happened. Um, got two season points. We finished in seventh. And let's look at the results. What also kind of got us was the fact that one of the um, races that we won didn't give us any points. So we would have had a better chance. Um, that car does actually finish in front of us. But, let's do the season standings. Okay, that's fair. We knocked them back down to fourth. So, um, at the end there, it kind of turned into just fun. So... Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this little Rookie Cup Legends series. Um, be on the lookout. I'll try to start doing some more, like, or try to get into some of the, um, online stuff. Um, if you want to race with me, that sort of thing, please reach out in the comments. Let me know. Um... Cause that would be, I think, a lot of fun to do. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and we'll see you in the next one.